Hey what's happening everyone, I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com and today I have another product unboxing for you guys which is the PlayStation TV. For those of you who've been following along on my channel, you guys know I do a lot of Vita coverage so I figured having a product like this will benefit my channel even more and plus all the other functions that this device has to offer would benefit me as well which I will have a future review on this. So first off, just to share a little bit of information, there's about two different versions for the PlayStation TV. The one I have in front of you is the standard version, which comes just the system plus the accessories to get it up and running. And the second version is a bundle deal, which includes the system, a DualShock 3 controller, an 8 gig memory card, plus a game. And since I already have my DualShock 4 controller for my PS4, and seeing how I already have a Vita memory card, all I needed is the system, which is what I have here. So first off, here is what the box will look like. Pretty standard, pretty simple. It's going over some of the different functions, which like I said, I'll have a feature review for this. Here's the other side. And of course, over here, it tells you that it's compatible with the DualShock 4 controller, the DualShock 3, and plus the accessories, which we're about to unbox anyways. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into this because I want to hook this up and test it out and hopefully provide you guys with a test video later on. Uh, now also too, do keep in mind for those of you who do YouTube, this does have HDCP copyright protection, so unless if you have a way to bypass it or a splitter, then you could use that method. But if you don't, then it, it is copyright protection, just do keep that in mind. I already have a way to bypass it, so I'm not too concerned about it. Alright, so we do have some information on the top here. Let's see what we got here. It is... Get the best out of the remote play on PlayStation TV by connecting it with your PS4. Simple stuff there. Has it in two different languages. There you guys go. So in the box we have another box, Boxception. Always good to have a box within a box. Alright, so we do have the main device on top, which I'm going to open that afterwards. Let's go ahead and get to the uh, little accessories, of course. Alright, that flips down, that flips over. Alright, so first off, it looks like we have our instructions. Always good to have the instructions, so this is the quick start guide. And you have the safety guide as well. The first thing that we have here is an HDMI cord. It's always good that this includes HDMI. Because sometimes there's products where it doesn't include it when it needs it. So there you go, HDMI. It's actually a lengthy cable. I'm not sure the size, but it's a good size overall. You do have one portion of the power supply here. And you have the little power brick. Which we have right there. Let's go ahead and get the stuff out of the way so you can uh, get an overhead view. So boom, those are your basic accessories. You've got your power unit and of course you have your HDMI cord. Simple as that. Everything that you need out of the box and plus your guides and booklets. But anyways, let's go ahead and put this off to the side and get to the main device which is right here. And it's actually quite small which I do have a couple items to do a comparison with. Alright, so it's nice, it compact, and something you could easily travel with you. But here's the device itself. There's about two different colors actually. There is black and white. As you can see, that has that nice PlayStation logo right there in the center. On the top over here, it does say PlayStation Vita, which if you remove this, this is where you'll put your cartridge for your PlayStation Vita games. So really nice and nifty. On the sides, it does feature a glossy finish. Over here, it does say Sony. All right. And then on the other side, you do have your components, which we have your Ethernet cable, HDMI, USB, and we have the slot for the Vita memory card, plus the plug-in for your power, and we have the um, power button as well. Kind of give you guys a closer look there. So simple as that, using the light to reflect everything for you. And then on the back it says Sony, PlayStation TV, and basic stuff there. So this is really, really cool. It's actually not too heavy. I do have my cell phone next to me. This is actually a lot smaller than my cell phone. So yeah, size-wise, 
yeah, it's pretty good size pocket, easily fit it with you. You could easily, if you go, you know, if you travel a lot, you could easily take this with you. Simple as that. But like I said, you simply put your Vita memory card in there, uh, which will be required, of course. Um, do you keep in mind that maybe not all games are compatible, but from what I've seen with a basic update, from what I've heard, the majority of the games that are currently available do work with the PlayStation TV, including the one I'm currently covering, which is the Hyperdimension Neptunian 2, which I have early access to, courtesy of Gamer Fusion. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. I'm going to get it up to date, up and running, and I'm probably going to come with you guys with a test footage later on. But if you guys have any questions, leave that in the comment section down below. Until then, I am Sir James from Gamer Fusion, and always remember guys, Gamer Fusion empowers your gaming.